Well, Joe, let me ask a, a specific question to you. If you get elected, uh, and obviously uh, Commissioner Stewart would still be uh, on yes. the board, would there be any concern of sort of Katie bar the door, uh, here comes the spending? Oh, well, I'm, I expect to be the most conservative member of the board. So, I'm, I mean, you've set me back on my heels with your question. The question is whether I can keep those other two guys from spending all the money. So you're going to be the conservative of the board? I fully expect to be. That's why I'm having a fundraiser next week, and eight Republicans and seven Democrats are hosting it. Uh, okay. I'm a, I'm a very fiscal conservative person. Not, are, you, are you a Tea Party kind of guy? Oh, no. no oh, okay. Not at all. Just, nope. I, I needed the check. <laughs> no. But, but I, might, I, might, I might give you one, one point on, on, on your question. It is, is true, true that neither Ron nor I have been endorsed by the Democratic Party. Well, why do you think that is? Uh, it principally because they don't want to do an endorsement in oh. a primary. Okay. Right. But it's not because you're a Tea Party guy. No. I, I, will, I will say this. I, and I served, uh, of course, for you know, five or six years before, uh, I don't feel comfortable in either party. Okay. I'm too fiscally conservative for the Democratic Party, and I'm too liberally liberal on social issues for the Republican Party. Therefore, I consider myself the most nonpartisan person, uh, not only in this race, but uh, potentially in this county in any kind of a, a, a public position. Everything I do uh, if you've got the Democrats here and the Republicans here, I operate up here. It has nothing to do with party. Okay. Thank you.